Okay, we're entering the Clay County Jail. Excuse me. It's a bit hard. Okay, so here we go. We actually got, um, we was having an investigation here earlier this evening, but um, we left the monitor on and all that just to kind of see if we can get something on a night vision you know, as we're doing this challenge. <clears throat> this is the uh, first one we did. Some of our friends are doing them. So we figured, you know, hey, let's just kind of try, have some fun. We, we had some extra time tonight. So that's kind of where we're at now. So I guess let's let's get by kind of showing you around. Um, now, some of the other team members, they did this challenge earlier. I'm not sure when they, that that or actually this would get edited, but um, we'll, we'll get it to y'all guys. Um, this was actually jail was actually from 1894 when it was built, and you know we, we traveled around all around. This is actually one of my favorite little places. Um, it's it's not very big. I mean. It's got a lot of activity and it's relatively close to our home too, so that, that's always a perk. Not a lot of travel. So th this was um, Dean Abe's room. Um, some of the girls earlier was in here doing their um, spirit box session, I do believe. And they said they had a few things, but they, they weren't sure. Obviously, we're going to go over the evidence. But it's a little bit creepier, I will say, when um, you're in here by yourself. It's kind of cool. I mean, me personally, I, I prefer it just because. It gives that creep factor. <clears throat> Excuse me. That red light you're seeing, that is our night vision camera. So, so let's go up the steps here. Another night vision camera. So where, we, where I'm going to take you, um, let me show you in here. That's a smaller cell. Okay, this is pretty nice. That's actually true. Now this side, man, it is warm up here. It's amazing the different temperature from up upstairs to downstairs. I mean, naturally you're gonna get some variance, but it's way, way, way heavier up here. This is this is the largest cell in the whole place. Of cells, I will say. Is anybody in here with me tonight? Okay, guys, we're about to actually make our way back over here to the maximum security. The maximum security is actually. Probably the most hot spot in the whole jail. And you'll hear some cars. There, there is. There is some apartments across the street. Which is about the only thing. They do get loud sometimes. Now, if 
you come right here, this is kind of freaks you out every once in a while. Not so much now, just because there's got a lot of light outside. But if you look there, yeah. Paper mache. That actually dummy actually came from the St. Augustine Jail years ago. Okay, so let's get to the best. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna walk down here, this little corridor right here. I mean, I, I'm hoping it's picking up on, on some of these noises. I really don't know because as I'm speaking, it, it's echoing. But I mean, you can hear some some little creepy little stuff. Now this, what this is, this is like a little chase that's actually, okay, right, right here, is, that's our favorite cell. That's the REM pod and the Rook and it should be a voice recorder and maybe a K2 or something in there. But anyways, that was, I think that's the harden of the criminals right here. These three cells, I mean, cause they're like super max. But this little chase, I'm assuming is was probably one either for the guards to give food or for visitors. I can't imagine visitors really, truthfully. But, I mean, with the exception of this right here, with the exception of, of that opening right there, there's really no openings for, for them to hand food or something like that. That's why I'm not really sure it's, it's for the guards, you know. This is a really, really cool jail. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, some some people say that you know that they should update it and refinish it, and, but I don't know. I kind of like it just the way it is. Okay, check this out. Now, the one thing you do have to watch, it does have a lot of lead paint in here. I'm ass well, I take that back. I I'm assuming it's lead. I, I can only assume from, from the how old it is. See, this is what I was talking about right here. Check these doors out. These doors and locks are so thick. So cool. So cool. I mean, just just imagine, you're sitting in here. You got one, two. You got a little sink right here. You got a little toilet. Then actually, all the cells I'm going to show you, all of them is got these extra little things on the wall where they can have extra bunks. And they put trays or or whatnot right there, but. From my understanding, that's where, that's where they had extra set of bunks. I think they were smaller than, than the ones on, on, on the right side, or the ones that are still up right now. You know, I haven't seen any of the bunks that went, went on these hooks. I mean, that's what they told us. I mean, it, it kind of looks like shackles or something for me. I mean, so you can anchor something. I'm really not 100% positive. I mean, it, it makes sense that... It, yeah, yeah, it's hooks. Because I, I can see where it's on the... Okay. Yeah. Well, it's hooks. So it's four extra beds. Okay. This is how they got most of their light in here. Old steam heater. Nasty little thing. Little bathtub. Okay, so let's let's do this. Let's go in here. 
And let's see if we can't get a little activities. Like I was saying, this is probably one, man, guys, I, I wish I wish you could feel the energy as soon as you walk through the cell. I mean, it, it's like, uh, like electricity running through your body. It's insane. But I got, I got a little K2 here um, also. Got the rim pod, that's, that's the root. Um, that's just a little paracorder. Um, it's like a little EMF field. Let's see, they, they took, man, they took my voice recorder. So listen guys, if you hear anything back on, on this tape, on this video, should I say, just, just comment below, you know, let us know. I'm gonna place this right here, so let's see what we can get, you know. Is anybody here with us tonight? Listen, y'all y'all was going on y'all was rocking and rolling earlier. Man, guys, it is so quiet. I love them cars, you, you do hear cars, but I mean at certain times you, you can hear a pin drop. You know, earlier, earlier when we were in here, we was getting us really great um, K2 hits. Um, I'm hoping some on voice recorders. Um, excuse me. Like I said, getting some on the voice recorders. But um, that light is so damn bright. Edit this, Michaela. This is a bad idea. Okay, yeah, we, we, we're going to have to get a different light. That, that, that one's like insanely bright. In any case, what, what I was saying was, when we was in here earlier, we was getting good K2 hits. Um, the rim pod was just staying lit constant. Um, it was, that's what it actually uh, made us aware of it. We, we were just setting our equipment up, and it, it wasn't even dark yet, you know. It was still daylight, and it was just going off like crazy so we, 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 my daughter told us about it Michaela told me about it so we, we came up here and and we had an awesome session for probably about 20 minutes before we even got set up but um like I said we gotta go over to voice recorder and all but while we were up here what what really set it off was it was going off then it was just us up here. So then we heard Arr! it was a cell moving, cell door moving good. I mean, it's like right next to us. So we, we peeled out of here, ran in, you know, because any, anytime this happens, you, you know, you gotta check it out. So I was, you know, we, we ran over there just to make sure nobody was kind of jacking around with us, messing with us. You know, I, I, I I'm always confident it's never one of our team members because, you, you know, we take this stuff very seriously. So, you know, there, there's time for kidding around and all, but we, we don't kid, kid around in that manner, you know, as far as evidence would go. Because they, they know that would contaminate the evidence and we don't do that. But we do have a good time. I mean, we cut up and all. You, you got to, man. You take it too seriously, you get deep into stuff. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So I'm not really sure where we're at. We're probably about halfway through the um, through the challenge right now. And and you know for for my part of the challenge, you know the girls was scared a little bit and all. Well, for me, man, I, I love this. I love it. So it really doesn't scare me so much. I kind of embrace it. But, so, I figured, instead of being scared, you know, I'm not gonna fake nothing, obviously. So, why act scared if I'm not scared? It, it, it is definitely creepy, I will give you that. It is creepy. But, you know, we've been here, done that. We've been doing this a very long time. I, I know it don't happen in 
and obviously most people watching this knows it don't, doesn't happen on cue. You know, as investigators, you know, we'll, we'll go in somewhere at night, you know, four, five, six, seven hours, whatever. Man, so, some nights when we go in there, you'll get a little bit, but some nights it's just insane off the charts. And t tonight, tonight was a pretty, pretty good night. Like I said, we, we got to go over a lot of our evidence. Well, all of our evidence, actually. And ho hopefully we'll catch some good stuff. And some, some of the times when you, you think you hadn't caught that much stuff, you actually catch some really cool stuff. So, we'll see. But, um, God. Anybody here with us? One cool thing I will say, one of my teammates, and then we, we actually had a, a couple guests here with us tonight investigating that was some contest winners. They gave us two incidents that was, neither one of them talked to each other, but they gave us some very, very similarities. Um, one of the contestants was saying that she thought a little girl was hearing a little girl's voice, you know? I personally didn't hear it. My my wife Gwen, she was up here and earlier that this evening, she was saying the same thing. She she said that she she thought she heard a little girl singing. Um, it was like a whisper singing a little bit. So you know that's kind of cool. And I'm I'm hoping this echo is not too too bad. You know. Because in the cell, it's really bad. I mean, you can hear yourself just, it's just echoing. It's horrible. So, kind of, kind of also, let me, let me give you a little, feed, little rundown on kind of what I'm doing now. You know, what we do for, for us, and this works great. I'm, I'm sure a lot of our investigation, investigators use it. Um, when you're doing like EVPs and stuff like that, you know, you can ask direct questions. That that's fine. That's good. And we we do it every 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 time also. But personally, I like, kind of like getting together and, and just speaking and kind of having a conversation amongst ourselves. And for me, it seems like they chime in a lot. You know, and you get some really cool EVPs. Um, is it more? I don't know. It may, maybe for me, I'm a little partial, so I pick up on it more just because I like that method a little bit. But but nothing's wrong with the other way. The other way is tried and true, and it works, and we use it. So if that's what you do, good luck to you. There's really no wrong way, you know? So listen guys, I'm going to pick you up. We're going to go ahead and go. You know, it is... Man, if y'all guys can ever get out here to... to this jail, I would definitely recommend it. This is an awesome place. will say that little ass chase room right there that's a creepy ass place I mean over the years god I guess creepy right there you know over the years we heard a lot of stuff inside that little there we go maybe I can show you in here I'm gonna stick this in a little bit guys I hope I don't lose my damn camera